iPhone was not working. So here we've launched our own Apple iTunes app on any Apple device, again, paired with the Honeywell unit. All of the users of the warehouse are on the floor would have a QR code like that. And that the QR code allows them to log directly into the Ascent mobile menu. So here you see a standard warehouse function inside your iPhone. But if you're walking around the warehouse or on your, we have it on the production floor as well. So the pick slip, which I printed out, and we're going to press the pick slip, right? Because now we're going to do a picking function. And I'm going to scan my picking slip. And you're going to see, I didn't even touch the screen, but yet here I am getting ready to scan an item. So I have barcodes printed out of items that would be on a package. It's asking me to uh, verify that that's the right location. And if I'm picking the right quantity, because if you see on the screen, I'm picking one, and I'm gonna say yes. And because we validate against a serial number and a lot, we're gonna scan a serial number to confirm that we have a good serial number. And as it saves, I can come back to the sales order. I hit refresh, and you're gonna see in a second that we just picked an item out of inventory. So full warehouse management on an iOS device with Ascent. And the part that I didn't get to show you was where all the brands of Ascent comes from is the item master. Here's where we've made it out, a grid that teaches you or lets you know what's in stock, what's on hand, what's available, and all of your allocations. Again, just unlimited information about an item. It kind of takes uh, Salesforce products to steroid level uh, because we can do anything from standard cost, last cost, average cost, uh, is it a lotted item, just unlimited data about your product. And of course, I already showed this before, the ability to print a customized barcode label from anywhere in the Salesforce cloud. And that's what you missed before.